So we are we are live and now recording. Um, welcome everybody. I'm Allie Jackson with Escrow Options Group, and I'm so glad that you can tune in today to Marketing Monday. We have a very special guest, Stephanie Bonte Labere, who is going to talk to us a little bit about um, about the science of personalities. And um, but before we jump in and have her take over, I just want to thank everyone for tuning in to our regular Marketing Mondays. And just mention a little something about Escrow Options Group. Um, we are one of the largest independent escrow companies in Southern California, but we still provide very specialized boutique escrow service. We have 12 branches and we're across five different counties. We're actually the only escrow company that is trained in cybersecurity by the FBI. So uh, we realize how important security is for your escrows and we are here to protect your clients through this process. Um, we also provide incredible marketing tools for our agents, such as Altos reports, list reports to help you with your marketing, as well as help you keep your finger on the pulse of the market. Um, and we also provide services such as Marketing Monday, where we bring in special guest speakers to help you expand your education and background and uh, help you have more success in your real estate careers. So uh, that's our little, our little blip on marketing um, with as options group. And now I'm going to lob this on over to Stephanie. And um, I'm really excited. We've had a great chat the other day, and I learned a little bit more about her training with the bank approach and about the science of personalities. And um, I'm just going to lob it over to her and let her tell you all about it and tell us about your background. Thank you, Allison. I really appreciate you coming, uh, letting me come and talk to all of your people. Um, I'm Stephanie Bonte Labere. I am a professionally trained singer and stage performer turned voice presentation and sales coach. Uh, you might be wondering, how the heck am I doing this for, for a real estate focused uh, group? And it's just because it's all about powerful communication. I don't care what industry you're in. It's about powerful communication. And I translated my ability to sell myself on stages around the world, land those leading roles in musicals, operas, cabaret, dinner, theater. And I said, okay, I want to be an entrepreneur. And I started my own business as a singing teacher. And then I was introduced to the world of business networking. And I loved it. I loved all these people getting together and, and talking about their businesses and support Supporting each other. And I realized I had a lot of skill sets that translated to the business world and I could help people have more confidence when they went to networking groups, really focus in on a message that was going to resonate with people and have people raise their hand and say, I want to learn more about you, be able to project and use your body and your voice powerfully, because that's my zone of genius. And I'm also licensed and certified in this particular method we're going to talk about today that's based in personality science. And that is specifically around how to identify the person in front of you quickly. So you know what to say to get a yes and what not to say to avoid getting a no. And is that helpful in real estate? Yes, <laughs> it would definitely be helpful in real estate to be able to trigger the yes and avoid the tripwire to the no. So that's what we're going to dive in today. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. And hopefully, um, Ali, let me know if this is not showing up correctly. There we go. Hopefully. Okay, great. So we are going to talk about how to convert more listings and win more offers using personality science or what is called the acronym of bank. And we're going to talk about what that stands for. And uh, I'm going to te teach you the secret, the science and the system to doing this. And we're going to give you a lot of gifts today. So even if you're watching the recording of this, you can receive some gifts as a result of watching this training today. I'm not only going to give you a free personality report that's all about you with communication tips, but I'm also going to send you a copy of the real estate white paper, which summarizes the top triggers that potential real estate clients are looking for in a listing agent which I think speaks directly you know, to value for you. And I'm also going to send you a copy of this deck because uh, in a PDF form, because this deck has a lot of information in it and I'm not gonna be able to spend a lot of time covering all of the information. But if you have a copy of this, then you'll be able to read through it at your leisure. So with that, I just wanna, as I mentioned, I'm a stage performer. I've written my own one woman musical called Stage Dreams and I love to use my voice power Powerfully. And I always talk about, you know, the fact that your voice really has three different 
areas of success. One is that purpose voice. Like, do, are you clear about what you're meant to say in the world? Are you clear about why you love real estate, why you love to work with clients and, and, and buy and sell homes and, and get them into the home of their dreams? And then do you have the physical presence? Are you confident when you're speaking to your clients? Are you using your voice powerfully when it comes to networking and speaking. And then that last piece is, I call it the mental voice. And this is the actual structure of the talk and the words that you choose to use. And that's what we're going to dive into a little bit today. This is my bank code. This is my personality code called a bank code. It, I'm an action first, a nurturing second, a knowledge third, and a blueprint fourth. And this is what we're going to teach you about today. You're going to learn what your code is. And I talk about um, my personality type in my introduction is I've been a vocal coach trainer for over 20 years. That's the blueprint in me. I'm a singer stage performer. I'm a number one top trainer in 2020 in this particular methodology. That's the action in me. I'm a mom, wife, passionate about helping others in business. That's the nurturing part of me. And I have a master's in voice. I'm, I'm and I'm certified in this method. That's the knowledge part of me. My own personal testimonial is that I use this particular method to increase my business. I have a business called The Empowered Voice. So not only do I work with singers, but also speakers, coaches, trainers, service-based entrepreneurs on how to be better communicators. And I was able to bring in $50,000 in income in 30 days because 100% of the people that I spoke to in that 30-day period all said yes. And when you're making $50,000 a month, things start to get really exciting. <laughs> so I knew that when I started implementing bank that I was really on to something important and special, not just as a trainer of this methodology, but from my own personal sales. So bank is personality based, it is people focused, and it is profit driven. And we're going to talk about what this really means. And we like to say that we can help increase your sales by up to 300%. And the reason is I want you to think of bank as a language. The acronym bank stands for the four personality types. And let's say that your primary personality type is your language. We you know, maybe it's English. So blueprint is English and everyone speaks English. And so when you speak English to someone else who speaks English, you have a great chance of communicating with that person. But what if they speak Spanish and you don't? So let's say action is Spanish. The red is Spanish. So now you have to learn another language and now you've increased your chance of closing sales by 100%. Let's say nurturing is French and knowledge is German. When you learn those other languages, now you're increasing your chance of closing sales by 200 to 300%. So that's where that comes from. And these different personality types, we all have them in us. It's just a matter of learning how to speak the languages to the right person at the right time. We have done research on this specifically in the real estate industry. So I want you to know that according to our research, bank has in, uh, helped increase listing sales up to 123% and buyer sales sales up to 300%. And you're going to receive the white paper summary today as one of your gifts. This is the biggest myth in sales ever told that in order to get more yeses, you have to get more what? No, no. Yes. Thank you, Allie. We all know this. It just rolls off our tongue. But I want you to stop and ask yourself, does that really even make any sense? In order to get more yeses, do you really need more no's? Or do you need more yeses? Because that's really what makes sense to me. And I know there's been whole books written about go for no, but instead let's go for yes. It just doesn't make any sense not to. And the secret is, is that sales is not a numbers game. It's not about going around and knocking out as many doors as possible until you get a yes. It's actually a people game. We work with people. When you understand people, you increase your influence dramatically. The method I'm going to teach you about today has actually been taught at major universities around the country, including Harvard. And we have a white paper. I know there is a real estate focused white paper. We also have another white paper that was done by San Francisco State University in 2016. They wanted to look at a couple things. Number one, is this just a carbon copy personality assessment of something else that's already on the market or is it unique? And number two, does it actually predict buying behavior? And yes, indeed, this white paper reveals that we predict buying behavior. In fact, we're the only methodology in the world scientifically validated to predict buying behavior in less than 90 seconds. And in fact, we even have tools now that have come out since this white paper came out that allow us to crack someone's code in nanoseconds. We have artificial intelligence. 
So this is a great quote by Albert Einstein. Any fool can complicate things. It takes a genius to simplify them. When I explain these four personality types to you, it's going to seem like, duh, of course, these are the four personality types. And you may even say to yourself, you know, hey, I naturally can tune into somebody's personality. I can understand what kind of a person they are pretty quickly. And I'm going to show you how that is awesome and how we can build upon that. So let's look at the science behind bank. This is personality science and our four personality types are named blueprint, action, nurturing, and knowledge. This was based on the science that Hippocrates came out with in about 400 BC. He treated his patients differently based on what temperament they fell into. And he discovered when he treated them differently, they had they had positive results. But if he tried to treat them the same way, it didn't always work for every single person. Millions of us have taken personality assessments. I know I have taken dozens of personality assessments because our favorite topic is ourselves. So we love to take personality assessments. And we like to say, because we get asked this question all the time. For example, I know DISC is a big one in real estate. Real estate uses DISC a lot. So if you take DISC, D-I-S-C, and you line it up with bank, B-A-N-K, we like to say they are exactly the same, only completely different. And it's the difference that's the game changer. A lot of these assessments are based in psychology, the psychology of learning all about yourself. While we are actually based in what's called biology, the science of buying behavior. We don't actually care if you are an introvert or an extrovert, for example, because that has no bearing on whether you say yes or no in the buying market. We wanted to create a reverse engineered assessment that quickly identified the person in front of you. And so you could quickly understand what to say to create more influence with them in that moment. So we call this cracking the code. And I don't know if anyone has seen the movie, The Da Vinci Code, but Tom Hanks runs around Europe trying to find the secret to the Holy Grail. And it is locked up inside this device called a cryptex. And there is only one code that works to open this device. And if you even try to put in a code that is the wrong code, it actually is booby trapped. And the message with the secret is wrapped around a vial of vinegar. The vial of vinegar breaks, dissolving the piece of paper with that secret, leaving you with nothing. And I don't know if you've ever been in a situation where you have been in a sales conversation with someone and you saw the moment that you cracked the vial of vinegar and they didn't agree with you. They didn't like what you said. They started to back away. They started to cross their arms. They started to argue with you. I know that's happened to me in the past. It still happens to me every once in a while, but just not as often because now I am focused on what is the code I need to know in order to open up that vial, take that piece of paper out and read exactly what to say to get a yes. And so I can avoid getting a no. And this is the biggest mistake that most of us make in sales is we tend to deliver our, from our perspective, our primary personality type, which means if science says there are four personality types in the world and you have a primary, that means one out of four times you are delivering the correct message. Three out of four times you are not delivering the right message. And that means that you are better at selling to your competitors, because if they need your service and they're not going to get it from you, like if they need to sell their house, but they don't like you and they, they got to sell their house with somebody. So they're going to go to your competition. You're actually better at sending people to your competition than you are at landing your own clients. When you don't know how to speak the right language to the right person, it can be pretty devastating. So instead of having one presentation from your primary personality type, you really need to have four presentations and you need to know which presentation to use at what moment in time. This is an interesting statistic from the Chally Group says only 18% of buyers will buy from a salesperson who doesn't match the buyer's personality type versus 82% success when personality types are aligned. Now, you don't necessarily have to have the exact personality as that person who wants to work with you, but you do need to build that no like trust factor because the no like trust factor is what I'm really equating here to alignment in personality types. You got to speak their language. You have to understand where they're coming from. So we're going to dive right into the system of bank. This is where you can take furious notes and <laughs> you can also get 
the slide deck after I am done with this presentation. And I will tell you how to do that so that you don't have to take furious notes, but I know some people do like to take notes. So let's jump in with blueprints to start. Blue is for blueprint because I've never heard of a green print or a red print. We tried to make this make sense. Also think of blue as a cool color, and this is a coolness to their personality. They're not going to be very highly emotional people. They're going to kind of keep it cool. I'm going to use a box analogy throughout this presentation. This is an inside the box person. The rules are meant to be followed. And the commodity that they trade in is safety. They are very risk adverse people. And our research actually says that the number one trigger to a yes is that you stay within their budget. And I'm going to tell you a little bit more about that. Here are the top 12 values of a blueprint personality type. Okay, they because they are risk adverse and budget is their number one trigger to a yes, you want to try to come in under their budget. So their budget. So if they have a, a $500,000 budget, you don't want to show them a house that's $500,000 because that right there, they're already thinking about the risk of what if, what if we find out that something's wrong with the house and I have to spend more money to fix it, right? They have a budget. You want to come in a little bit under so that there is breathing room for them. And they will not share change their budget, by the way, when they tell you their budget, that's it. They're not kidding. It's not going to go higher. <laughs> so don't try to make it go higher. All right. They also uh, follow well-established procedures from everything from open houses to closing. So if you are an agent who is a blueprint, you follow the rules. You know exactly how to stage a house. You know exactly how to hold the open house. You know exactly what paperwork at what point and at what time needs to be signed. You have processes in place and you follow them to the T every single time. Uh, you're also excellent at handling all the details. So blueprints are detail focused. They want everything in black and white written down. I'm gonna give you the top five secrets to uh, working with a blueprint client in the real estate industry, all right? So their budget will not change. I just mentioned that. Don't even try to change it. Offer the best property brochure possible. And this is, speaks to having things in writing. They want to see it in black and white. It makes them feel good because they have a documentation that they can bring back to you and say, here is what you said, or here is what the property said. If this is false advertising, I've got proof you know, that this is not what was promised. Respect their rules. They have rules and they usually, one of their top rules is to be um, early to everything and to start on time, right? Blueprints, if you're on time, you're late, right? So make sure you're showing up um, early to appointments with a blueprint and that you follow through on what you say. They are gonna follow every legality and procedure. Okay, so they do not want to bend any rules or break any rules. If, if the law says that they've got to do certain things, they're going to do it. They're going to err on the side of caution every single time. And you want to display your certifications on all of your marketing materials. They want to know you've been in business for a while. My, my husband is a blueprint. We actually just met with a financial planner, a potential financial planner, and he wanted to know how long have you been in business? How long have you been in this building? How many people work for you? Where did you go to school? How many years have you been doing this? Like he was asking every question under the sun to get the credentials of that person. Your blueprint prospect is going to do the same thing with you. So just be prepared for that. All right, let's move to action. So action is red. Think red hot. Think the VIP red carpet treatment. These are the movers, the shakers, and the millionaire makers. When you talk about the box analogy, they are outside the box. Their rules are meant to be broken with these people. They make up their own rules and then they break their own rules too, too. <laughs> okay? The commodity that they like to trade in is lifestyle. So they do not have a budget. Budgets are ridiculous to action types. They just want to live the lifestyle. So these are the types of buyers who will go over their budget if they even tell you they have one. And most of the time they won't. They'll just be like, listen, this is, I want a house that has this, this, and this. Just find me those houses. We'll talk about money later. <laughs> okay. And their number one trigger to a yes according to our research, is actually a celebrity endorsement. So if you happen to be a local celebrity 
in the real estate world, you want to lean into that. Or if you had someone who's willing to be, who, who bought a house with you, who happens to be a celebrity, a local celebrity, or even a national celebrity, but it doesn't have to be a national celebrity. Sometimes people think it has to be someone on TV. That's not true. It can be a local celebrity as well, but somebody who makes a, an impression, usually another action type, quite frankly, will bring another action over to your side. All right. So they are, they are definitely, um, fun people. And these are their 12 values for an action personality type. And if they are um, a prospect for you, they want to have a property that makes an awesome impression. You want to show them your best properties first, your absolute best. And in fact, if you can get them in to see a property before anyone else, kudos to you. They want the VIP treatment. They want to feel special. So if you can be like, Hey, this is going to go on the market next week, but I got you an in, I got you in. Let's go see it now before anyone else does be the first person to see the property actions are like, yes, I'm on it. They will happily stretch their budget, you know, to, to do whatever to, they want to make the biggest splash with their money. Okay. So they're, they're going to, they're going to look for extending as much as they possibly can. If you are an action agent, if you're in real estate as an agent, you're going to move mountains to sell your listing at the highest possible price. You want to make as much money for your client as possible. And you want to do it as fast as possible. You will negotiate the win and pull out all the stops to create a competitive advantage. And you know how to stage a home to make it look amazing to make it look VIP, like this is the luxury living in this property. And you hustle, you hustle, hustle, hustle to close as quickly as possible. So here are the top secrets. And I already mentioned a couple of them, but basically show your top properties first, give them the first look at a listing, negotiate in a way that lets them have a win because they want to feel they're very competitive. Action types are very competitive. So if they feel like they can save money, like, Hey, they listed it at this, but I was able to, you know, we were able to get, you know, a savings out of it. It's not because they have, um, they want to save from like a, a blueprint perspective, but they want to feel like they like won something that they like got one over on somebody else kind of thing. And then skip straight to their interest, go to the bottom line with action types. If you, you don't want to give them all the information about a property, they don't care about all the information about a property. You have to ask them, well, what do you care about? What are you looking for? And they tell you the top five, six things, then just focus on those things because that is the bottom line for them. And then minimize their expo exposure to bureaucracy, i.e. paperwork. <laughs> of course, there's paperwork that has to be signed. People have to do certain things in their industry. You've got to follow the rules to a certain extent, but make it fun for them. Like take them to lunch and wine and dine them while they, while they sign the paperwork. Okay. To, to, you know, take the edge off the fact that they've got to sign all these documents, right? Whatever you can do to make it interesting and fun, because, you know, some of that stuff, and they're not going to read the fine details either. Just FYI, there's going to be like, where do I sign? Just show me where to sign <laughs> because they're just, they're just not a fine print kind of personality. Okay. So we have Jane Johnston here today with us. And rather than me tell her story about how she's used bank and real estate, I'm going to just have her come out right now and tell us herself. So, Hey, Jane. Hey, Stephanie. How are you? I'm good. So um, I uh, got affiliated with Bank in 2015. I actually met Sherry at a, she's the head of, bank, of um, Codebreaker Technologies. I met her at a conference and what she said totally made sense to me. My code is ANKB. Um, I used to think I was an AKNB and, I, and that's because the top three codes for me are very similar. Um, however, I realized during COVID, my nurturing definitely has come out more. Um, I'm all, I'm actually the number one realtor at my brokerage in Victoria, British Columbia. I'm in the top 100 of my brokerage in Western Canada. And last year I made over a million dollars in real estate. Um, and then uh, the story that we have to tell here was uh, in 2015, after I took the course, actually in early 20, yeah, 20, January, 2015, within a year my income had increased by $400,000. And uh, that was because I made 40 more transactions that year. And I have been consistent ever since then. Uh, what I found is, so for, we were talking about, you know, the pros and cons of each different code. I'm actually meeting with a high blueprint. And I said at the beginning of the meeting, um, I cannot be late. 
because that will totally turn her off. And without even having a conversation with her, I won't be able to continue on the relationship because uh, it just will be a turnoff for her. So I'm not going to be late. Um, with an action, they don't mind if you're late, if you're 10 minutes late or whatever, they're going to slide in. Most likely they'll be late as well. And uh, Stephanie's exactly right. You really want to get them to sign the documents quickly. I, I put some notes in here, use DocuSign, speak quickly to them for a blueprint. You want to talk about next steps. For a knowledge person, I found like before I even meet with them, if I know that they're high knowledge, I show up with all the data. Like I'll bring a booklet of information and just say, here, would you like to read through this? They're so appreciative of that information. And so what it's taught me is, uh, first of all, you can tell, you can start listening more carefully when you're doing your showings. So are they talking about the community? Are they talking about what the next steps? Are they looking at the data on the sheet? What is the information that they need? And then you can start to anticipate that. Probably many of you are doing it. But what you're going to be doing now once you learn this program is you're going to be doing it more effectively. So you do close people in less time. You find you're going to be able to have those conversations that speak to them. And so they're going to refer you more clients as well. Your business is just going to grow exponentially. So I highly, highly recommend this. I'm a certified trainer as well. And uh, I've been doing it for how many years now? Seven years. And it's changed my life. It'll also change your relationships. Yes, Jane, thank you so much. We've been on this journey together as um, co-trainers and uh, both eWomen Network people as well. And it's been so great to see how, how your business has exploded um, and how you're using this very consciously. Like I, I remember you speaking very consciously and even like coding were you on like a television show or a local television show where they had yep. comp com you had to compete with other real estate agents for business and you were using bank to like get the competitive edge and <laughs> yeah so i would go around their house and i would look at the art and what they had on their bookshelves and that would tell me a lot about them and then um I, before i even sat down with them i had them coded so uh, there was a highly nurturing couple and I talked about lifestyle of where they lived and what people would want to see and how they would be introduced to the community. And they were just like, that was the kicker for them. That's why they came with me. But you also have to understand what turns people off as well. Mm -hmm. So um, knowing that a high action person doesn't want to know the details, like stop talking, <laughs> just send me the DocuSign and I'll sign it. <laughs> or also knowing like what is their stress code so the third code so a stress code is something that can really overwhelm somebody and um but they'll also be that's where they'll go when they have an issue so a lot of people when um all of a sudden they'll switch on you and you're thinking like is this the same person i've been selling to and they've become high knowledge or they want to know all the facts and they just kind of start to really dial in on what's stressing them out and, um, and just be flexible. So the person yeah. with the most flexibility, as they say in NLP wins, really listening, understanding, responding, don't react, and planning to meet their needs in a way that works for them. And that's how you become a top agent. Yeah. And thanks for bringing up the fact that people can switch codes because we're going to talk about that because you it's not enough to just know someone's bank code. You have to understand when you hear certain language which personality type they've gone into because we can switch at any moment. We can become more nurturing. We can become more, more knowledge. And if you can't recognize that language, you're going to have a really hard time keeping up. So awesome. Jane, thanks for being here and just showing up. And yes, Allie, and did you have a question? I ask Jane one question. Um, and in real estate, what happens, what do you do when you meet with, say, someone who is a blueprint and their spouse is action? I have a great story for that. Do you want me to tell you? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, so I had a client, a set of clients. So one was a nurturing blueprint and the other one was knowledge action. And so we were looking at property. So just understanding that both have different personalities. We would go into a house, they would each ask different questions and I would respond to them. So we were, it was between December and January, and I knew we had to make a decision and they'd kind of been humming and hawing. And I knew 
the blueprint would want to have the deal. Okay, they want the action wanted to get it done before the new year. So I knew we had a short period of time. So we went and looked at this house and he's asking me about the aerial view and what's in the neighborhood um, in, in terms of like all the amenities and uh, where are the parks and all this information. She's asking me about the community. So anyway, we go into the office and I set the blueprint nurture up with the contract and I said, read through it. And what I want you to do is just understand where the blanks are in the contract that we're going to be filling in. It's a boilerplate and we followed standard forms and then I'll come back to you. And then with him, I went on the computer. We started looking at all the data, uh, all the sales. We looked at the list sale ratio. We looked at the price per square foot. 15 minutes later, we meet. I'm like, to the blueprint, do you have any questions? Yes. So we went through the questions. Do you have any questions? Yes. We went through his questions. 15 minutes later, again, we have the offer. We got it accepted. So knowing who you're dealing with and understanding that when you're dealing with a couple, you're going to be dealing with two different personalities and uh, who is going to be making the decision. Who is the person that really holds the purse strings is so important. Yeah. So was that helpful? Thank Very. you, Jane. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Well, let's go through the other two personality types. And Jane started talking about them a little bit, um, but let's jump into nurturing. So nurturing is yellow. Think of the warm sunshine and sunflowers. All right. The box analogy, blueprints are inside the box. Action types are outside the box. Nurturers recycle the box. And the commodity that they trade in is relationships. So it's all about relationships. It's all about their community and their connections. The research says the number one buying trigger is that you donate to a good cause. So if you donate a portion of your you know, proceeds to a local charity, you want to talk about that. You want to talk about your passion for helping your community as a result of doing business in real estate, because that's going to help a nurturer feel like you are someone they would want to work with. Here are their top 12 values. If they're a nurturing client or potential client, um, they want more than a property. They want a community. They want to be moving into a place where they can feel comfortable with their kids growing up and feeling like it's a safe place to live and that the community cares about each other. Um, they want, you know, um, they want to make a difference within their community. And so where they move makes matters to them as a whole, as a big picture, not just the actual physical property itself. They also are, are careful with their budget because they want to make sure they've got enough money to take care of their family. Okay. So it's not a, it's not a uh, risk mitigation, you know, uh, like a blueprint might attach to it, but it is about, Hey, families first. Families first. I've got to pay for my kids' education. I, I want to you know, do these things as a family. And so the house has to fit the needs of, of their lifestyle. If you are a nurturing agent, you know, you know how to make a listing feel cozy and any client feel like family, right? You're you're just someone who's like, hey, I'm not just your agent, I'm I'm a friend, right? And you're gonna to want to get to know your clients on a personal level. You work hard to help the client feel you know, like, like, like they're a member of your community and your business community and you want to take care of them. Right. And so it's, it's a great, you know, warm kind of feeling when you're working with a nurturing client or a nurturing real estate agent, here are the top secrets. If you are going to work with a nurturing client. So let me just go through them really quick, paint a picture of family life in your listing, spend time getting to know them before showing them a property. Be scrupulously honest and ethical. Nurturers will bend the rules. Okay, so we've got the rules are meant to be followed if you're a blueprint. Rules are meant to be broken if you're in action. Rules are meant to be bent if you're nurturing, but only in the service of people. If you're bending the rules and it's a little uh, shady, that's not a good thing for a nurturer. Avoid the high pressure sales tactics. They do not want to feel like you care about this, the money more than you care about them. 
right? And I know that it's it's a big commission sometimes you can make on the sale of a property. So if they feel like it's all about the money for you, uh -uh, they feel really icky about that and they're just gonna hightail it out. An extra act, extra hands on, really take care of them, really do what's necessary, even after the sale is over, because they are fantastic referral partners. Nurturers have large communities of people that they're connected to, and they will refer to you and refer to you and refer to you. So you want to nurture them after the closing. You know, you want to send them a basket of cookies. You know, you want to check up on them 60 days after and say, how is the house? How is the neighborhood? How are the kids, you know, getting, um, you know, acclimated to their school life? You, you know, you want to do that with them because that makes them feel like you really, truly care. Knowledge. Knowledge is green. I want you to think of the Excel logo is green. The Matrix, you know, movie with the green data going down the screen is green. In the box analogy, the knowledge types invented the box or engineered the box. Take your pick. All right, their commodity that they trade in is information. They are very information driven. And the research says the number one buying trigger is to also stay within budget. So bud budget is important for blueprints and knowledge types. However, knowledge types come from the perspective that it needs to make sense to spend the money on that property. So it's not so much about mitigating risk. It just has to logically make sense. The logic pattern for them has to, has to flow. Here are the top 12 values for the knowledge type. And if they are a knowledge client, they're gonna dig deep into the data to find the right property. So you wanna come prepared with the research, armed with plenty of knowledge on the local market and, the need, and their needs. They will ask a lot of questions and you better have all the answers. If you're new to the industry, you might wanna bring another knowledge type along with you to help answer those questions because they wanna work with the experts. Okay, they value expertise. And so they do want to just dig deep into everything possible. I have a, my stepson is a knowledge type and he bought a home a few years ago and he did all the research. And then I, I connected him with my nurturing real estate agent friend, <laughs> which was interesting because she was treating him. She's known him his whole life. She just kind of treated him like a family member. And he was like, not impressed because she didn't have the information he had about the neighborhood he was looking to move into. So I had to coach her to be more logical and fact-driven with him and less touchy-feely like you're an old family friend because that was turning him off. He wanted to feel like she was the expert in helping him find a home. If you are a knowledge agent, you're a true market expert. You easily can rat off, rattle off property facts, relevant statistics. You learn all the tricks of the trade to make sure the clients take advantage of every obscure law and tax bonus possible to get the best deal. You never leave a client feeling confused or uninformed. So top secrets, have all the data and obscure facets of the property, let them dictate the criteria and don't try to change their mind. You cannot sell to a knowledge, knowledge is sell themselves. All you can do is provide them with the information and try to stay as logical as possible and then they will decide. Show, don't tell when it comes to expertise. So if you're telling them, oh, I'm an expert in real estate, they're like, uh, prove it, <laughs> right? They don't take your word for it. So you just have to act like the expert. Invest in your website, which is a uh, knowledge type would not like the fact that I that did not spell that correctly. <laughs> Invest in your website and social presence. So you really want to have accurate information on your website, accurate information on your LinkedIn profile. Like it, they will go through it. And if they uh, see a lot of misspelled words like that, they're going to get turned off. <laughs> Explain the why behind a big price tag. Okay. Again, it has to make sense. Spending money has to make sense. This is my friend, Sarah Stevens. Jane also knows Sarah. She's also a real estate agent in Canada and a top real estate agent in her area of the country. And I just spoke to her two days ago. And so she wanted me to update her slide because it used to say like an increase of $288,000 or something like that. She's like, Stephanie, this so far, so far in 2022, I've already made over a million dollars. I was like, okay, I'm, I'll make the slide for you. <laughs> so she is a knowledge type and uh, she is knocking it out of the park every which way. So what's your bank code? This is where we get to the meat here. This is the important stuff. How do you know what your bank code is? Because 
we actually have all four of them in us. All four personality types are in us, which means that there are 24 combinations of what we call a bank code, which in reality means that when you are speaking to someone, you actually only have a one in 24 chance of someone you come up to is going to have the same bank code as you. That's not great. Because if you just were being yourself, right, just speaking your language the way you like to speak it, one in 24 people are going to totally get you. They're going to be like, yes, we, we're totally in line with each other. But the rest of the time, people are going to be slightly off. Like, oh, some of what you're saying makes sense. And some of it I'm not really receiving in the right way. The research says when you know someone's full code, because there could be a lot of people who've been in the industry a long time and you're already intuitive and you're already catching on when you meet different personality types and you're like, oh yeah, I can totally tell this one's nurturing or this one's action or this one needs all the information. And that helps you a little bit, but to know the full code, because the first two in the code are the triggers to a yes. And the last two in the code are a tripwires to the no. When you lead with them, they tripwire the no. So when you know the full code, you actually increase your chance of getting a yes by 75%. Think of it like a bank pin for your ATM card. When you put your ATM in the machine, if you put your bank pin in backwards, no money comes out. You've got to put the pin in correctly in the right order. So I'm an ANKB. When someone speaks action, nurture, action, nurture, action, nurture, triggers my yes, triggers my yes. If they come up to me and they speak knowledge, blueprint, knowledge, blueprint, I'm triggered into a no, 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 no. You have to know what my top two are and what my last two are. So how do we do this quickly and easily? Because the whole point of this particular method is that you do not have to sit down and take a 45 minute personality assessment. <laughs> okay, I promise, <laughs> right? So the easy way that I do it in person, you can always email me to get a set of these cards, okay? So if you're watching this recording or you're here live with me today and you're like, how do I get these plastic cards? These hold the 12 top 12 values for each personality type on them. And I literally hand them over in an in-person situations. And I say, sort these cards in order from the one that's most like you on top to the one that's least like you on the bottom. This is going to help me serve you and save us both some time. Now you might be asking yourself, especially if you're high in knowledge or blueprint, do they really do that? Yes, they do. It's a great icebreaker at networking events. It's a great way to just insert into the process of onboarding people, you know, you have to collect information from them anyway, right? And often it's very personal information in real estate, right? Like, are you qualified for a loan? And can you prove it? And give me the information, right? So this is easy compared to that. This is just a quick little assessment that takes 90 seconds or less. Then they hand it over. And now you know what the triggers to a yes are and the tripwires to a no are before you go any further. Now, if you're not in person, because we live in this virtual world now, and oftentimes you, you can't do everything in person. There is a way to do it virtually, and this is where you get a chance right now to go ahead and take your own personality assessment. And what I want to do here is I also want to um, make sure uh, that you know that everyone who uh, cracks their code on this link is also going to get bonus gifts from me. Okay, so I'm gonna, first I'm going to type it into the chat where you need to go. Uh, you're going to go to code.com. Okay, go to this link. I just put it in the chat for those of you who are live on this call. If otherwise, it's on the screen. If you go there and crack your code, not only are you going to get a free personality report, you're going to find out what your code is. It's going to send you a free color personality report all about you, how you communicate, what triggers a yes for you, what tripwires a no for you. In addition, I will see that you've cracked your code because this information comes to me and I will send you your real estate white paper summary so that you can review the triggers by uh, different real estate personality types. And I will also send you the deck from today so that you can go through all of the information that I shared on those slides that we just went through, okay? So you get multiple gifts as a result of clicking on this link and cracking your code. So make sure you grab that and you, you do that um, after this call, if not while we're on the call. And then, um, Let's specifically talk about how these four personality types, when you, when you understand these four personality types, it's going to help you land more listings. You're going to be able to sell more properties. You're going to be able to build your team and you're going to be able to collect more referrals. I mean, these are the areas I think in real estate 
And I really make a difference, right? For the bottom line. And this is what we teach you when and if you feel that this would be something you'd like to take a little bit further. And we're actually gonna give away a training today um, to someone. Uh, we're, I'm gonna tell you exactly how to enter for that so that you can um, potentially win that training. And I'll tell you what that also looks like. So here is a potential next step if you feel that this could be a value for you. And um, I just want to mention that Codebreaker Technologies is the company that came up with this particular methodology. And we are considered the world's leader in personality coding technology. And that is because we have artificial intelligence now associated with this method that helps in different ways. So the first tool, and I just, you know, we just went through this is this what's called bank pass. Bank pass is your ability to send out your own unique URL. So you can see this is my unique URL. You could get one as well. And you attach this to maybe the signature block of your email or on your website opt-in form or on the process that you have when you're collecting information from somebody who wants to work with you. There's lots of different ways you can use this URL to make it really easy. I have it in my Calendly appointment setter. So when somebody schedules a time to, call, to chat with me on the phone, they take their assessment as one of the questions before they can book a time with me. There's lots of ways to use it, but it ensures that you're grabbing their information and especially their bank code. Then we have Codebreaker AI, artificial intelligence. And this is actually a tool that allows you to decode texts, emails, websites, social media posts, blogs, anything and everything, chapters of books, <laughs> whatever you want. It'll tell you what personality types are attracted to that copy and which ones are not. It's also great, like I'm a networking coach and I run my own virtual networking group. So what I like to do is I will run my 30 to 60 second networking presentation through the Codebreaker AI to make sure it is balanced because it actually gives you a bar graph and it'll tell you with a bar graph, which personalities are represented in that copy that you just entered in. So if I am, you know, putting in, here's my 30 second introduction that I'm gonna to take to my next networking event. It'll say, wow, you're really attracting the actions just like you, but there's hardly any blueprint in that copy at all. So if any other blueprint person in the room were to hear that, they probably wouldn't be that intrigued by you. Whereas I can then create balance, change the copy, create evenness amongst the bar graphs. Now I'm more captivating. And this is what it means to be captivating is that you are attracted to all the different personality types in the audience. When you give a presentation and you've got multiple people in the room, are you giving a balanced presentation that speaks to everyone? Or are you just speaking from your own point of view? That's the difference between, between being captivating and being an average speaker. All right, so Codebreaker AI can help you on so many different levels. We also have integrated with LinkedIn and we have created a Google Chrome extension that allows you to crack unlimited LinkedIn profiles and know what the, prof what the code of that profile is right away. And usually it gets you pretty close to their actual bank code because most people tend to put together their own LinkedIn profiles, especially the about section where they talk about their bio, right? Their history, their credentials, you know, why they love what they do. That tends to be from their perspective. So you're going to crack their code and it also grabs their contact information. So you can actually create leads in your CRM. It's a fantastic uh, Google Chrome extension. And I want to just mention that all of this, um, plus um, some special training, I'm going to gift to one person. In fact, Allison purchased this training for one person. So she bought what's called a Kickstarter Pro, and she wants to give it to someone who watches this presentation. All right. Normally, Kickstarter Pro is a $100 training package, and I'll tell you what's in it. So first, you get uh, a sales masterclass, which has 20 videos all about um, bank for sales. There is a relationship masterclass with 20 videos all about your relationships, your friends, your family, your spouse, your children, anybody in your life. Bank is actually fantastic at mitigating conflict and helping you great, create closer relationships with those most important people in your life. So you get a that focused class as well. You get a Why They Buy ebook. We have a book called Why They Buy, which is all about this method. It goes in depth into different aspects of this method. So you can get that ebook and we have an advanced bank code assessment, which actually the quick assessment, which takes 90 seconds or less with the cards. Let's say you shuffle the cards. It will give you a 20 uh, question test that ranks each one of these on a scale from one to 25. 
So for example, I'm an action first. I'm a 23 out of 25 action. I am a 22 out of 25 nurturer. So that just one point behind. I'm an 18, out, I'm an 18 out of 25 knowledge and I'm a 13 out of 25 blueprint. So it kind of shows the spread of my codes and you can see how close my nurturing and my action really are. They really are almost interchangeable. So that's a helpful assessment and comes included with this. And then you get a $1 trial of all of our tools, additional training and technology for 30 days. So that includes the bank pass, which is the link you can send out to as many people as you want and crack their code and send reports as a gift. It also includes the, includes the Codebreaker AI, which allows you to code any copy and find out who is attracted to it and who isn't. And it includes the LinkedIn Chrome extension as well. And then it also includes what's called Bank Vault, which is our virtual training platform, which has over 50 hours of content, 50 hours of additional training in this methodology. So if you really wanted to, in the first 30 days, you could just dive in and be a student, um, and then you can decide if you want to keep it or not, okay? So all of that is going to be gifted to someone today, and it's I, I think what we need to do, Allison, is we... Um, if you're here live and you would like to be considered to win the training, I want you to type Kickstarter in the chat box. Okay, so type Kickstarter in the chat box if you're here live and you want to be considered to win the training. And, and, and also pop your email in there so that we can get a hold of you. Yes. Um, so some of you are, are logged on with just a first name or something. So I want to make sure that we can identify perfect. you and find you. <laughs> perfect. So definitely share your email in the chat box and so we can enter you to the drawing to win to win the training. Um, and then what we'll do for um, this video is gonna be on the Facebook group. So we will, if you wanna on comment you, on, YouTube. on YouTube. Okay, so we will give you until maybe at the end of this week, Allison, so yeah. we maybe till Friday yep. to comment underneath the video with your you know, Kickstarter and your email address. And then um, we will make the drawing on Friday to see who wins. Um, and then we and then we can, um, you know, uh, give people a little time because I know some people are going to watch the, the recording of this and they weren't able to be here live today, but they did register. So I know we had a lot more registrations than we had people actually be able to show up today. So um, I'm excited to, to um, be able to offer this gift. And if you're like um, an action type like me and you're like, Stephanie, I don't want to wait until Friday to figure out if I won this. I just, I just, I think I need this. Um, I'm actually going to give you a coupon code to make it only $49.95. So this is an easy next step. It's it's a one-time investment of $49.95. You get all of this. And then the, if you add the $1 trial onto it, it becomes $50.95 total investment. And I also give some bonuses for people who do the $1 trial. I actually give you another free live training with me where we talk about how to use the tools in real estate for your business to make a bigger impression uh, everywhere you go. And I also am going to give you what's called Real Estate Secrets. So Real Estate Secrets is a special um, guide that really dives into those four areas, being able to build your team, recruit, sell more houses, have more listings, find more prospects. It goes in detail for the real estate industry. So I will also gift this to everyone who signs up for Kickstarter and does the $1 trial. So with that, um, I, if, if you want to be considered for any of that, if you want to purchase Kickstarter, go crack your code. <laughs> okay. So everyone who cracks their code, I will send you a follow-up email with all of your free gifts, and I will send you information on how to purchase Kickstarter. So it'll all be in one place. You only have to do one thing today. And what, that one thing is to go crack your code on my.bankcode.com slash Stephanie. Once you do that, you will be in the running for it all of the is above. less than 90 seconds to do. It was very it interesting. Does. <laughs> it takes less than 90 seconds to do. And I want to make sure that everybody has the opportunity to take advantage of such a honestly low cost offer that can make a huge, huge difference in how you're communicating with people on a day-to-day -day basis in your industry. And if you have any questions, if like your K has been triggered and you're just not sure and you've got questions, you can email me, stephanie at empoweryourvoice.com. And I'm always happy to answer questions, provide more information, send you resources, whatever it is you need to feel like you're making um, you know, a logical decision. So with that, I can open up for questions for anybody who's live here on the call today. I'm happy to take questions now.
and you can also feel free to pop questions into the chat. Um, and before, uh, as if anyone's thinking of their questions, just to chat for a minute here, Stephanie, because you are our next Marketing Monday special guest speaker on June 6th, um, yeah. talking of the, the other side of you with your empowered voice. Yes. And um, if you could just take a moment and tell us a little bit about what you're going to be covering, because uh, this is going to be so valuable for people in real estate as far as listing presentations, as far as how they come across on Facebook Live or recorded videos and your reels, et cetera. Yeah. So I'm going to basically, I, you know, I, I mentioned I have a performing background. And so I'm all about the voice. I'm all about how do you show up using your voice powerfully everywhere you go, networking, um, marketing videos, um, you know, speaking engagements. And so how do you do that? with a lot of confidence? How do you feel good about showing up in different places so that you've got a message that resonates with people? So I'm gonna talk about my vocal empowerment method and we're gonna go through the different ways you can prepare for speaking, you can show up with power, you can maximize your ability to use your voice for marketing in your business. So whether that is for video or whatever else is that you are doing when you're speaking to other human beings and you want to get better at it, you want to feel good about using your voice, that's what we're going to talk about. So yes, there's vocal technique. That's my, my wheelhouse, but there's also everything else. There's the mental preparation that goes into it. It's energetically feeling good about how you're showing up and then feeling you know, uh, brave enough sometimes even to make that video for social media, you know, and have it be good enough because a lot of times it's just about showing up even mediocre presentations will move your business forward. They really will, because there's a lot of people who, you know, feel like they've got to have it all in line and perfect before they can do something. And that's just not true. Right. We, and I'm an action type. So it's all about taking action for me. Like you just take action and then you assess it and you take action again, you assess it until you get good. And you're right. And you just use that experience to develop expertise, but I'll give you some really hands-on practical tools to be able to do that and feel good about it. So I'm excited to jump into that topic. So anybody who is interested in that, will have the event bright link put together and up shortly. Um, so you can reach out to your representative, either Tom blank, our vice president of sales, or you can reach out to um, Kimberly Welsh, our director of sales, who neither were able to join the call today due to other commitments, or to me, Allie Jackson, um, and I'm down here in San Diego um, as your marketing and sales representative. Were there any other questions here for Stephanie? Because we've gone a few minutes over, and um, I, I understand those those blueprints are going to really want to get yeah. onto their next thing. <laughs> They would have already left if we had any blueprints in the room. <laughs> so. It was it was very interesting and it was fun for me to learn. I'm I'm N A K B, and um, as I read through the whole profile, I'm like it was just so spot on. It was very very interesting, and yeah. um, it was I, I moved those cards twice. I'm like, oh, is it N? Is it A? I, but they're probably really close. Nudged, the yeah. in-depth assessment will tell you. Are they they're probably really tight. So if you had a hard time. <laughs> Well, thank you so much, Alison. I really appreciate you having me here today. And uh, thank you to the to the small but mighty group that came live. <laughs> and make I always... sure you put in your comments and your email. Um, and what was the keyword you wanted them to put? Kickstarter. Kickstarter. So, yeah, okay, put, a... put Kickstarter in your email in comments. Friday, we will do the drawing. And everyone who entered their info in the chat will also be added into that drawing. And uh, we will reach out to the winner. So awesome. thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Jane, for popping in and uh, having your testimonial as well. Really appreciate it. And um, have a fantastic week, everybody. And um, we'll see you in escrow. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>